Fay and Parkland, Sandy Hook and Columbine, there was Thurston. Kip Kinkle opened fire in the Thurston High School cafeteria 20 years ago today, killing two and wounding 25 others. Kinkle had killed his parents the day before. The deadly shooting at Thurston High School in Springfield, Oregon, a lasting memory of where we live. He just came in through the side door and started shooting everybody. It was one table that was the close to the door was been filled with shot. On May 21st, 1998, Kip Kinkle, then 15 years old, walked up to Thurston High School with four weapons and a thousand rounds of ammunition under a trench coat. On the patio, he killed Ben Walker, then headed for the cafeteria where he killed McCall Nicholson at close range. I ran down here as fast as I could. And, you know, the first one I came across is Ben laying right there. Um, he was laying on his stomach. You know, I could see the gunshot wound in the back of his head. As Kinkle reloaded, a wounded student, Jacob Riker, tackled him, and seven other students disarmed him. Riker recovered and was proclaimed a hero. Taken to the police station, Kinkle lunged at an officer with a knife, shouting, shoot me, kill me. At his sentencing, Kinkle's attorneys argued he was mentally ill. Kip, what do you want to tell your sister? Prosecutors said he knew exactly what he was doing. In his journal, he described himself as evil. I can flunk the kid, and if he wants to, he can walk in the next day and blow me away. There's nothing I can do about it. Outside Thurston High, a wall of flowers quickly grew into a memorial to the victims. Today, a permanent memorial placed at the southwest portion of the Thurston campus. A plaque reads, may we all understand the life-changing impact of violence, and may this memorial extend the comfort, strength, and hope that comes from a caring community, state, and nation. More than 1,400 staff and students, represented by the tiles on the memorial wall, were at school that day 20 years ago. One of them, Justine Brown. When it first started happening, it sounded like firecrackers going off, and we didn't know what was happening. Um, but quickly, of course, everyone in the cafeteria was, was ducking down, and we were locked down, and we were sequestered, not really knowing what had actually happened, because it was all so surreal. I was 15. She is now a teacher at North Medford High School, telling us what happened 20 years ago didn't detract her from what she says is her calling. My mom, bless her heart, she, she joked with me that when I graduated and I was becoming a teacher, she said, I'm going to give you a bullet vest because you know we're, we're on the front lines and um, we're asked as teachers to do more than just teach. I'm asked to care for my students, to look for the warning signs, to keep them safe. She tells us she connects with her former classmates in one way or another every year at this time to reflect on the events of that day that we're able just to bond together and, and remember and honor each other and um, see where we have what we've done with our lives because we all have a, a great calling on our life but when something like that happens it's like okay now what are we going to do with this because we have the weight of it that we carry. Kip Kinkle is now 35, an inmate at the Oregon Correctional Institution, sentenced to more than 100 years in prison. He will never get out unless a governor commutes his sentence. We sent a letter to Kip Kinkle to see if he would talk with us. He never wrote back. In remembrance of the 20 year anniversary of that shooting, there are two events scheduled for today. There will be a moment of silence on campus at the end of the day and later tonight, a candlelight vigil. That starts at 8 at William S. Fort Memorial Park. That's right across the street from Thurston High School. And I'd also like to uh, give thanks to uh, Carla Miller, our producer here. Uh, she managed to locate a lot of that footage mm -hmm. and uh, do a lot of the information related to that story. It's weird to look back at that time because then school shootings were so rare and now they seem like every week. Yeah, yeah. Thurston High School was one of the first. Yeah. And uh, here we are 20 years later and we just had Santa Fe last week. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, it's uh, 521.